makes me sad. Time to put this back on. Psych! What is up everybody? It's your boy Chubbs. Welcome back to another video. Alright, since the truck is still down and I'm going to take advantage of having all this space right now and I'm going to take off my throttle body and I'm going to clean it up. I, I would really like to start like cleaning out my engine, detailing my whole freaking engine bay and everything. But, oh damn, it's coming down. It's freaking May. And it's raining. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like, I love the rain. But, come on, bro. I'm trying to work on my truck. All right, guys. So, it is still sprinkling after like 30 minutes. So, I'm going to just show you what we got to do first. And then, I'm going to just do it. And then, we'll start the cleaning. All right. So, what we got to do, we got to take three millimeter, three 10 millimeter bolts. One up here, one down here, and one down there. And then, we got to take off these two hoses. They're down here. And then remove these two, remove the idle. All right, since the water's coming from that direction, I put a tarp here. Like that, I stay dry and my camera stays dry. So, what the hell? Okay, so I already loosened up the bolts, now I just gotta take them out. I think the only pain in the ass in doing this is the two hoses down here. Damn, y'all hear that? That did not sound good. I do not hear the car at all anymore. That was a nice backfire that she probably turned off. Or it blew up. Alright, now for the annoying part. Oh, and, and for these, all you gotta do is um, pull it back and then just take it out of the little hole. I'll show you guys once I put it back together. And this, you just twist it off. Pretty easy. Oh, we also got to take off this vacuum here. Easy to take off too. All right, so this this hose down here really is a pain in the ass. Just warning you guys. Not gonna lie. But everything is off now. Let's see how my throttle body looks after 197,000 miles. Ugh. Damn. All right, let's get to the cleaning. And the port and polishing. Just kidding. It's always good to replace the gasket when you're doing stuff like this. But my gasket looks pretty fine, so. I'll leave it for now. Probably when I upgrade to a bigger throttle body or probably an even, even bigger um, intake manifold. Let's get a thumbnail. Here's the thumbnail. All right, I hope there's not too much noise in here because of my, um, the washing machine, you know, gotta put some clothes to wash. All right, so we're gonna need some, I believe these are T30s or something like that. We're gonna have to take those off. Probably even smaller than T30s, probably like, T20 something, but we're gonna take these off uh, so we could get started cleaning on the ins clean the inside. And um, I put a piece of cardboard right here on my table just so I won't get my table dirty with all this um, hazardous waste or whatever. But all right, let's get started. Let's get let's get these electrical components out and clean all the mechanical stuff. All right, so I got my quarter inch ratchet extension in case you guys need it, but. Probably won't need it in this case. And I believe, I 
believe I already have a there's a T20 let's see if this one fits real quick oh I guess a T20 will do just to get these things off so I'm, I'm I've never removed any of these so I oh, thought it was going to be a little harder to get them off but I guess not I've never worked with a tripod right in front of my face so I guess this is a pretty good view for you guys. I'll try to stay within the shot. Okay, so like I said, we're taking off these T20s. All right, guys. Now that we got those bolts out, let's pull these these out. Jesus Christ. Um, I think it's all it's good if you replace these, but mine seem fine. Just put these work with its bolts. This is going over here. Alright guys, now that we got that off, let's just spray it, soak it up, and start cleaning it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray it, let it sit for a while, and then come back and clean it. Oh shit, that shit dirty as fuck. I also got like an old shirt and some microfiber towels and a brush you know you, you can use an old, to old toothbrush or one of these brushes just make sure it's not too rough like that will mess up anything but just scrub it up man If you guys have an, an, an electrical throttle body, just be careful with the butterfly because you might mess it up. Listen to this, guys. Listen to the crunchiness. All right. So make sure you guys um open up the the butterfly door and um spray it in there and clean it. Just so you could, you know, could be nice and smooth. So let's keep it open. Get the inside right there. Like I said, um, if you have a electrical throttle body, just be careful. Um, try not to move the butterfly too much, or also get stuck open like half, like an eighth of a way like that, or something. Because I've heard a lot of um, a lot of warnings when cleaning those throttle bodies, which normally come on like the trucks from 2007, the new body styles, and up. So just just a warning. Be careful. But 
If you have a mechanical throttle body, you can move it as much as you want. Just don't be stingy with your um, throttle body and throttle body cleaner. Use as much as you need. Oh! Damn, that shit smells bomb! Oh. That shit's strong, bro. It smells good, though. I like it. Port and polish. Well, I guess you could get all this with your fingers, too. Maybe use your pinky or something if you have bigger hands. All right, now that we got it all cleaned up and everything, um, let's put the electrical components back in. Make sure the gasket's there. Make sure it gets in there nice and snug and tight. And snug and tight and snug. And snug and tight. Tighten the bolts first and then tighten it up with the wrench. Make sure everything's tight now. Double check your work. All right, now let's go put this bad boy back in. Also throwing some, oh shit, my bad y'all. Didn't mean to kill you. All right, since this was the hardest hose to take off, let's put this one on first. I'm pretty sure I could get it in um, with the hose on there, but let's see. So this we can, what the hell, All right, turn it this way. All right, the hose is in. Now let's just get this first bolt in right here. There, there we go. Um, now just um, do everything that we did backwards. Just put them on there. I'll try to do everything with my right hand so you guys can see well. Probably accept this one. Don't want anything falling. And this one first. Just squeeze it in there. Connect the idle. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but. To get this back on, you just stick it in that hole, and that's it. And then just try to tighten this a little bit more so it can be sticking out this way. All right, guys, I hope you. Oh, it's wet. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me um, cleaning out my in my throttle body. Um, next time. Um, I'm gonna I'm scrape out everything from the water pump gasket that was left there and I'm gonna just try to start um, clean out my engine more since since it's not running right now um, I'll be doing that until I get the, the new water pump with the electric fans which I am set to getting electric fans now so you'll see, you'll be seeing that you'll, you'll see you'll see me installing some electric fans in here pretty soon but I'm not sure if to go with the the newer trucks like the ones that are the ones that are already directly the electric fans that already directly fit in here or if i should go with the the ones i really want which are the um flex light but those are 500 bucks um we'll see what we do but pretty soon i'll be installing some electric fans regardless of what kind they are um but i'm, I'm leaning more into the the ones that are for newer trucks that already fit in here 
and I'll do the wiring. We'll talk about that in another video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, leave a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. Um, give me some feedback. And if you want more, press the subscribe, bu subscribe button. Only take you one, two, three, four, five seconds, and it's free. Um, that's that's your choice. Leave it at that. See you guys in the next video. T C B. Peace out.